Hey guys, so I am at a store called New Uses and it was right next door to a clothes mentor where I was shopping and they're um, kind of a home goods store I think for items that are either overstock for stores or maybe maybe used like thrifted pieces so I thought well I'm already here why don't I just go next door and see what these guys have because on the sign outside it said they also had collectibles so I thought well okay I mean I'm mostly a fashion kind of person purses jewelry that kind of thing but I am also a thrifter knocking stuff over again um I'm also a thrifter in general and I can't resist a bargain so I thought well let me see if there's anything in here that might be worth worth getting fitness ball five dollars I don't know is that a good deal hmm toolbox <clears throat> toolbox for ten what else do these guys have let's see I got pet balls I like that how much are the pet balls five dollars I'm not sure that that's such a bargain is it what's this trinket tray oh that's cute four dollars automatic pet feeder eleven dollars yeah no my guys would not stand for that <laughs> they uh they just want to have an abundance of food available at all times so they don't have to worry <laughs> so they don't have to worry uh, god help them if they worry for even a minute even a split second for where their next meal is coming from no we can't have that <laughs> all right this is kind of more up my alley I like this two dollars a little trinket box that's a deal and it's um it's marble so we are getting that that's a good deal that is something I could see people wanting people who are looking at jewelry would want a trinket box people who are looking for jewelry would I think like that trinket box now this is a cute box it's wood carved wood with a little mirror oh but we're missing a leg okay that's gonna go back so there's a little keepsake box in here for three dollars let's see can we get a peek at it see if it's worth pulling out no i don't like the material it's made of what's this apple i got potpourri inside there five dollars i'm seeing tags with different colors 
and I'm starting to think that all means something. <laughs> you know, when you go to a place for the first time, you're, you're learning. Okay. I got big, oh, blue tags are 25% off. Okay. All right, that's good to know. I don't think I've seen a lot of blue tags so far. I've seen a lot of red tags. But we'll keep our eyes open for blue tags. Oh, he's cute. He's $2. I like him. I could see putting him on my front door. I had a wreath. I had a jewelry wreath that I had made from you know, from jewelry, mismatched earrings and things like that. And, um, and I think it got too hot one day and some of the jewelry fell off. I think it, um, it just melted the, <laughs> the glue. All right. So this is pine cone candle from Pier One Imports. For four dollars. I don't know, that candle looks to be in good shape to me. Wonder if it smells like pine for winter, you know, winter season. Hmm. All right, for now, I'm gonna put that back. All right, let's see what else. What else? We got holiday decor in general here. We got Santa salt and pepper shakers for $4. We have, let's see. Ah, oh, he's cute. Little cookie jar. And he is four dollars. He was six fifty. I'm looking at that candle again. I'm gonna grab a candle. So I have a little bit of a problem in terms of carrying stuff around today because I went crazy at Clothes Mentor. And you guys will see that in a video. But as I've been telling you, I Uber everywhere. <laughs> and I wanted to stop at a Goodwill that's right down the block here. And I wanted to stop at this bin store that's right down the block from here. While I was here, while I made the trip out. I like this, $2. I don't know, plastic. I'd like it better if it was glass, but that's cute. I like that. I'm gonna hold off, see if I find something better, because I would like it better if it was glass. And I still don't know what else this store has. And I'm sure I'm going to still see a lot of stuff. And as I was saying, I've got two big duffel bags here full of clothes mentor purchases, purses that I'm going to make a video for. And I don't know how I'm going to carry all this on all these stops. But one way or another, <laughs> I think I'm going to try to do it because I don't want to Uber back home and then Uber back out in this direction again. Though I might be more comfortable. It's not such a quick ride. It's a little bit out of my usual area of uh, shopping, my usual shopping area. But I was looking on a map and I saw a ton of you know, kind of thrift-like stores. 
um, all in this, you know, kind of the same area. And I had the day off work today and I thought, well, I can't not do this. <laughs> I've got to do this. I want to film some videos. I want to see what bargains I find. Oh, we got precious moments. Um, I've got to, I've got to take advantage of this day that I unexpectedly have off. I was working on a project, and the project ended yesterday. And my new project doesn't start till tomorrow. So I had the I had an unexpected weekday off, which I think we all know what I'm going to do <laughs> my unexpected weekdays off. I'm going to go to stores, I'm going to film videos, and I'm going to try to buy bargains to resell on eBay and my YouTube channel. And too bad that's chipped. I kind of like how that looks. Um, I was watching all of the Queen Elizabeth things and so now when I see the crown it reminds me of you know the funeral and the ceremonies okay what is this cats are like potato chips oh well that's true oh my god how much is this nine nine cents how can I not get that I've got two and if I had a bigger place and my HOA didn't have rules, I am sure I would have more than two. That's cute. It's really cute. Okay. I like that print. Okay, let's see what else we have. We got a lot of cute frames here. Sonoma frame, photo albums. Excuse me, thank you. Um, let's see what else they have. They got friends frames and they have Oh, this is a nice frame. Too bad it's broken, but I like the stained glass everywhere else. That's really nice. Okay. Oh, and here we have vases. And we have, oh, that's really nice. Look at that big, I don't know, pitcher, planter, not planter, but yeah, a picture. And this is pretty. I mean, I don't think I'll find any vintage pieces here, but still pretty things that they have. Pretty things, good prices. Another candle. This one's five seventy-five. I think I like the pine cone better. I was kind of happy when I walked in. I couldn't really hear the music really loudly. Kind of like right here. <laughs> the reason is eBay will kind of flag your video if it picks up uh, background, if it picks up background music that's copyright protected. They won't shut you down or anything. They'll kind of just, it's like a slap on the wrist. Um, like, don't do that. Go back and edit out the, the music. And the problem is, I still don't know how to do that. <laughs> so I've had a few times where they have kind of slapped my wrist. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll live with that because I don't know how to fix it. And one of these days, I have to learn how to how to do that. I've learned how to put music over the music to kind of muffle it. 
and uh, YouTube is okay with that. Um, they don't seem to flag me when I do that. So, yeah, I might just have to do that again. Hmm, that's a nice candle. Black onyx. Softwood, citrus, and herbal. But I don't see a price anywhere. Oh, there it is, $5. Okay, what else? What else? What else? A lot of candles here. Oh, a lot of candles. That one's interesting. $2. I kind of like this. Oh, it's coffee. Oh my goodness. I wonder what that would smell like. Would that smell like you're in a coffee shop? Huh. I'm gonna grab that for $2. I like the idea of a candle smelling like a coffee shop. <laughs> Who wouldn't like that? All right, what's inside here? It says best wishes. Enjoy your <laughs> enjoy your life. All right, what's inside there? User manual. I guess it's a candle. I don't think I'd want to give somebody a candle that says "Enjoy your life," unless I was really kind of mad at that person and saying, "I don't ever want to talk to you again." <laughs> So we're going to skip that candle. What else do they have here? All right, here we have pillows. Anything else other than pillows? Okay, we have bathroom items. Shade Jerome. Well, if that was your name, that would be wonderful. I like this store. I mean, if I was looking for home good items, I would definitely come here. I mean, I would definitely come here. Look at this, they've got a little blanket for $5. And the more I walk around, the more I think these are like close out items, um, but they're new, they're not, like a thrift store where, you know, most of the items have been used. This is nice for $4. I like that, but I'm being very conscious here of what I'm gonna get today. I might make another trip out um, a different day, but I still wanna make at least one or two other stops and short of going back to close mentor to buy another duffel bag <laughs> so i can carry my things um i'm not gonna be able to make those stops i don't think because so many places have become um you know kind of plastic bag averse and they want you to bring your own bag, which I'm fine with. I brought a duffel bag from home, but then I brought, bought so much at Clothes Mentor. I had to buy a duffel bag at Clothes Mentor just to be able to walk out of the store with my purchase, which is fine. I honestly, I don't have a problem with that because I like what I bought and that's five dollars that's Italian um I like what I bought I'm glad I came out I'm having a really really good day <laughs> just shopping and filming and sharing my little adventures today with you guys look at this what is this Oh, they've got Avon. Oh, but look, 
This is in 1985, so maybe they do have thrift items here. So they got football. We know the bottom one is baseball. And this is Moments of Victory. Oh, look, there's a Goodwill tab. Oh, that's funny. So I don't know what that's all about, but maybe they just take thrifted items from people and resell them. I've got to find out a little more information about the store because I obviously came in with a little bit of an idea of what this would be and now I'm not so sure that I'm completely accurate on that. 99 cents and it's got a lid it's a cute mug. Oh my goodness, but does it have, this reminds me of Vera Bradley mugs and Vera Bradley patterns. But I don't know, I don't know. I don't wanna take the label off. I'm just gonna leave it for today but at least I know the type of items. Oh, hardly found. I, 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 see, have I been to a store and not dropped stuff already? I don't know. My last few videos, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Mostly because my cart's always so full. All right, is this, uh, Huh. I thought maybe this was a Harley Davidson, but I don't know. I don't know what this, I don't know what this brand is. Tumbleweed Pottery? I have to look that up. I'm going to put this in my cart. <laughs> But I, I think I better leave it. I think I better leave Harley Hunk because I, I want kind of unbreakable items that I can put in with my with my two duffel bags that I have already. And hopefully I can kind of fit all that in there. If not, I'll be buying another duffel bag. This tote bag won't be big enough. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Anything here? We've just got grills and toaster ovens. Cute baskets and I love that box. I love this box. Love it. How much is this box? Four dollars. Okay, see see my problem? I've got two full duffel bags. Oh my. I need to figure out how I'm going to get all this stuff home and still be able to go to a couple more stores. Hmm. So tempted to get the box. It reminds me of one of uh, Patricia Nash's uh, patterns for her bags. I could probably even make an auction uh, if I get that pattern. I could probably even make an auction out of one of those bags in that box because it's almost identical. I forget what that pattern is called, but look at this. They've got all these DVDs. I don't know how much they are. Blu-ray movies. Oh my, and a whole wall of more. 
Look at all that. And then here they have games. So this is kind of reminding me of a very upscale Goodwill. Very clean, very nicely organized. I'm loving this store. Never really even heard of it. Um, but like I said, I was next door and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And I actually saw it on a map, but didn't really realize what it was. This is very pretty. Very pretty. $3.99. Not today, but I might come back this weekend. Who knows? Um, and then here, I guess they have their higher ticket items. Okay. We've kind of seen the store. We know what's here. I know I'll be back. And if you like this video, guys, and you want to see more of it, then just please hit the subscribe button and the like button. It really helps me grow the channel and it helps me stay motivated to do more videos like this. So, so yeah, I will see you soon. I might get those. <laughs> okay, I will see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. So guys, I wanted to show you what I bought at New Uses today. Um, I bought this tin box because I loved the design on it. And it's a great size box. Um, you know, looks good inside. I don't see any major way on it. Uh, you know, could use a wipe down. Um, but other than that, I think it's fine. And I paid $3.99 for this. So uh, what I'm hoping is, I'm hoping if I were to list it on eBay, I'd list it for about $12. But if any of my viewers would like to purchase this box, that would be $10. $10 plus, plus shipping. Um, I bought this. Cats are like potato chips. <laughs> you can't have just one. And I have two. And I'm a cat lover. I'm a cat lady. I admit it. And this was 99 cents. And I'm not selling that. I am putting that on my front door. At least for a while. <laughs> um, I bought this box. I really thought it was a, a really cute box. It was $2. Um, once I got home, I n noticed more than when I was in the store. It's got some little, you know, dings on the edge. But it's marble. Um, I thought it was well made. You know, it has like that brass accent. It has like a nice wood carving, engraving. You know, I thought it was nice. It's missing one of the felt sides, but I didn't think that was a, a big deal at all. Um, I still think it's a nice box. I still like the box, even with the little the little dings. I don't know if that can be polished or something away. So, it, you know, it doesn't show up so much, but for $2. Um, if I were to list this on eBay because of the damage, I would probably list it for anywhere like eight to ten dollars. Um, but if any of my viewers would like this box, six dollars, six dollars plus plus shipping. And then I bought a couple candles. So I bought this candle mostly because it's got the the um, coffee bean. And I thought, wow, I wonder if it's going to smell like a coffee house when it burns. I'm not sure. But I paid $2 for this candle. And if any of my viewers would like to buy this candle, um, that'll be $5. So, and then you can tell me if it smells like a coffee house. Um, and then I bought this candle that's a pine cone pine cone candle. I figured holidays are coming. I don't know if the scent is like a 
behind consent, I don't know that it says. Uh, pine cone candle, that's all it says. So I'm not sure. But I paid $4 for it. Um, if anyone wanted to buy the pine cone candle, I would sell it for $8. So this is what I bought at New Uses. And it was my first time there. And I really enjoyed the store. Um, I believe it's in Aurora, Illinois. And uh, New Uses. New Uses it's called. Um, but if you guys like this video and you want to see more like it, um, please subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously. And uh, hit the like button and I will see you soon. Bye bye.